Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and uh, Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading <clears throat> for June uh, 3rd to June 9th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can go straight away to the spread. All right, so the first card which represents the topic for cancer for the week, that will be uh, the death card, followed by the second one which stands for the challenges that cancer needs to overcome, that will be the tower. My God, that is, that is gonna be hell of a week, guys. Uh, the third card which stands for the positive aspect, that will be the lovers. Oh my, my Lord, hey. And then the last one, which stands for the guidance, and even gets better here, we do have the Ten of Swords. All right, so, oh my God, that is going to be quite of an explosive week for you guys. Um, Death card sits for the uh, topic, followed by the Tower card, which sits for the, uh, which sits, excuse me, sits for the uh, challenges. Afterwards, we do have the lovers that sits for the uh, positive aspect. And finally, we do have uh, the Ten of Swords, which sits for the guidance and uh, cancers. I don't know where to begin with. So um, this is what's going to um, happen in generally here. Something you, th you thought that you were rock solid at is going to turn out not to be, you are going to turn out not to be as rock solid as you think you are. Now, if I, ha if I have to stick with the lover's card, I would say that it is very possible, very possible that you may have a crush throughout the week, June 3rd to June 9th, 2019. You thought that you were never going to love again? Well, guess again, you know. So it seems that uh, you made your um, your bill without the accountment, all right? But the thing here, guys, is that there is, a, is something happening that will transform you or will transform your days, will transform your life that you cannot simply fight with. It's something natural that happens, you know, it changes you, it changes your job, it changes your relationship. You may be afraid at the start, just like I said, you have a crush and you don't know what to do about it, you know, and you are afraid of it. Or it could be as well unplanned pregnancy. Oh my God, it's a change. So what you're gonna do about it and so on and so forth. But uh, after this thing happens, in whatever field it happens, nothing in this field is going to be the same again. So uh, the first card, which is the very topic of it, that will be the death card. And the death card points the change, the impending change coming in, the most natural one. And um, that you are to substitute one way of living for another so it's not like the life is ending it is not like you know you are gonna be doomed afterwards it is just things are changing and life is not taken away all right you do uh, a new 
new life, let's say, or a new, yeah, new life is going to take place of the old one. This card could point change of a job, it could point change of a relationship, it could point moving forward with relationship because I would give you that example as well. Let's say that you are dating with someone and you never imagined that things are going to go so, um, so profound and so deep, all right? And you're going to take it as a, as a game, as a joke. And one day throughout the week, that guy or a girl, whatever, proposed to you, all right? And it's kind of like a shock. You find out that you love the person. You can't simply deny them. So it's it's a change. It's a growth. It's a transformation. This is what you're going to go through throughout the week. A uh, very important thing, once again, is not to fight it. Don't try to postpone it, but instead embrace it. This is all the message that these cards are pointing up to the Ten of Swords at the end, which is the guidance. And uh, the accompanied card of the Death card, this is going to be the Empress. So the formation it is a, a passive uh, friends here that we do have. And uh, you may find it a bit difficult to rationalize, you know, your decision to take on the change. That is, like I said, because you may not take the things seriously at the start. But should you give yourself a bit of time to contemplate, to think about it, the more and more you will mature about the question or, or yeah, about the question, should you take the change or not? And the more you contemplate on it, the more you're going to see the benefits of it. All right. So that will be a thing that will be shocking at the start happening, which will frighten you, at least at the start. And uh, but the more you calm yourself, the more you can you calm that wavering initial wavering of yours, the more you will see a reason behind it and the more you are going to see benefits behind it as well. So it's very impo it's impossible to tell you where exactly this is going to take place, but you need to be ready cancers for a major game changing in this uh, week that's come that comes around a, a game changing that will allow you to expand in your life to sprawl and to of course, liberate, because uh, the death card also stands for burning bridges with the past, especially if this past is past is noxious and it's uh, it's poignant. So the next card that we do have that will be the tower, and this is the challenges. The tower, it's the transformation that one cannot fight with. The more you fight with, the more difficult, the more painful it becomes. The more uh, but the more conflict, the more the conflagration kind of expands. Now, uh, the challenge here will be to realize that even though uh, the tower appears with rather unpleasant symptoms, like uh, having a crush, you know, finding out that, for example, you're pregnant and you don't plan it, you know, or finding out that you're going to be fired by, uh, by, your, uh, by your boss, that thing should not be fought. Because the tower at the end always have clean, cleansing and nurturing effect. Meaning that whatever is going away, all right, whatever is ending in your life, because the death stands for ending and a beginning, okay? So whatever is ending in your life, it means that it, 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 it is ending for a purpose. And this purpose is that you need a growth. And that thing which is ending cannot offer you any more growth. So if you have to leave your job, that is because this job is going to lead you nowhere, all right? It's, there is no room for improvement in there any longer for, uh, for a lifetime, so you got to find another job. If you have a crush and you are in a relationship, then it means, you know, that this new crush that you do have is going to make you happier than you are in a relationship right now. It simply is going to give you more, right? If it is a pregnancy, then it means that this child is going to make you happy, okay? And so on and so forth. It's just whatever the transformation is, you should not fight it because it's going to give you more growth than you have actually imagined. And at the end, it's going to have a cleansing and nurturing effect. And what do you know? We do have the star card here. That is a, the formation. It is a active friends. So another challenge that comes to you guys and uh, the challenge itself is that you need to have the clamorous belief that everything is going to be all right and everything happens for a reason. And the reason here 
is that you need to be happy. But in order for you to become happy, first you need to go through fire, all right? First you need to earn it, if I may express it that way. First you need to believe in it. And then, you know, the whole process is gonna start. But the whole process needs to start with a purge. You need to purge your environment, your, your routine, you know, yourself, if you wanna say it that way, with everything noxious that it is holding you back. Noxious habits, noxious relationships, you know, um, <clears throat> believe in the doom and gloom, for example, and so on and so forth. And that purge happens through the transformation itself. And like I said, that transformation should not be fought with, but rather embraced. So the next card that we do have, that will be the positive aspect of the week. And this is the lovers. Now, <clears throat> the thing here is that the lovers is going to be rather delayed. Up until, you know, the cleansing and nurturing effect of the tower card appears. So the lovers is more like a promise than actual, ben uh, than actual positivity that you're going to face throughout the week. So the promise is that once this transformation undergo, right, and it is in its final stage, then you are gonna be much more happier into your relationship, much more productive into your career, depending on where the change takes place, all right? And a lot of your problems that you found overwhelming back in the days, meaning in this week, are no longer being present. They're gone. They're they're no longer there. So let's say that you are in a uh, very unhappy marriage, all right, and you have a crush throughout the week. So that crush comes a very difficult for you because naturally you are a faithful person. Let's say that. But the more you think about it, the more you realize that the current marriage you are in cannot make you happy. I mean, you tried for several years, 10, 20 years, and simply it's, it's not working. So you got to do something for yourself. And the, the lovers here is a promise that everything is going to go perfectly when you take on this crash. And the problems that you had with the previous marriage is no longer be in your next one. Okay. So it's kind of like a promise that whatever difficulties you are facing right now where the transformation takes place, these difficulties will no longer be in presence moving forward into the future when you complete the substitution, when you complete the transition. The accompanied card here, that will be uh, the hangman that we do have. Formation, it is a uh, <clears throat> active neutrals. And with the hangman, it, it, it just simply points that um, you cannot, how can I place it? Uh, yeah, it also uh, contributes to the clamorous belief because the hangman points that every, um, every action is rather futile for you to make, uh, to influence you know, the transition and the change to influence the transformation itself. But also the hangman next to the lovers as a neutral card, it does point that your vision is going to expand, that your perception, that your um, perspective, excuse me, uh, is going to start readopting itself. And the more it does readopt, the more, like I said, you contemplate <clears throat> on the end result of this transformation, the more you're going to start seeing the light in the end of the tunnel. And the more you will start convincing yourself that the best is yet to come, which is true with these cards. It's just you need to have the clamorous belief, once again, as I said, because the hangman preaches that the light, that the sky darkens, will be put into light again. Only thing that you need to do is just wait for it. And it's going to happen. So the final card that we do have for you, Cancers, this will going to be the guidance here. Ten of Swords, it does, um, <clears throat> uh, as a guidance, it does point to your uh, courage in this case. It does ask you to make the necessary arrangement, like definitive actions, like irrevocable decisions, and whatever transition is happening, this is the guidance here, should not be fought, but rather embraced, because that is the mark of a new era that comes in your life, an era which is going to be much more cheerful and exhilarating than before one, because this is your sky darkened right now, but the dawn is coming, guys, but only if you can leave the past where it belongs. In the past, burn bridges, burn the bridges with it, like, just like I said, and strive toward your bright future. The accompanied card, that will be the Ten of Wands, <clears throat> Formation is, is it is a active uh, friends 
and the ten of wands here points to what happens to what is happening to you. It is a uh, awesome opportunity, all right, to make changes, to adapt your life uh, in a much more better position than than this current one. But everything comes with a price, okay? And uh, this price in that case is to succumb to the change. That 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 is all that is required for yourself to succumb to the change, to succumb to the transformation and to have the clamorous belief that the best is yet to come because it is, at least according to those cards. So that being said, Cancers, it looks like a, a tremendously big week is coming for you guys, a game-changing week for you and uh, I really hope that this transformation is going to take place into a major field in your life rather than a trifling one, okay? And uh, that at the end, you will have the strength to go through it. You will have the strength to reach that point where the transformation becomes nurturing and uh, liberating one and, 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 a, and a growing one as well. And uh, basically the time of a turmoil, the, uh, the era of a turmoil ends for you because this is what it's all about. The era of a turmoil ends for you now, this week. June 3rd to June 9th, 2019. So that being said, uh, this was your weekly tarot reading for June 3rd and June 9th, to June 9th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.